Okay, just let me know when you're ready. Hello, my name is Gordon Henry. I'm the property manager here at Cornerstone Corporation for Shared Equity. Today we have about 30 volunteers out here for the Bacon on, Bacon on the Community event that's going through on out throughout the city. So we're going to go through uh, different things of what they're doing. So right behind me, we have a few gentlemen who are putting in garden beds. Uh, late last year, we had six garden beds put in for the residents to you know, make their own vegetables, fruits, and herbs and spices. They mentioned to us, Rob and I, that, hey, Finley Market, you know, is right there, it's great, but we would love to have a community feel of our own garden bed. And so we made that happen with the grant, and now we're putting three more beds in since it was a huge success so that more people can benefit and have more veggies. So that is what we have going on here. So what we have going on here, we have a couple of different things. We have a play set that's being installed. Um, we have a lot of green space in the area, not much area for the kids to play. So it was very important for us. We have a lot of single mothers. We have a lot of younger kids here in our communities to have a play set you know, that they feel safe behind the gates and that they don't have to take their kids outside of the gates. Also, we have a couple of picnic tables here on our grounds already. We're going to be having a couple more installed so that there's more places for the parents to sit while they watch the kids, for the kids to sit when they have grill outs and barbecues and different things in the, in the community. So just Thanks Institute, you know, making the community even stronger than it already was and showing that our residents that we appreciate them and that we want them to stay and that they deserve the best. So what we're going to talk about now is St. Anthony Village as a whole. St. Anthony Village is our first community that Cornerstone manages. It is owned by Over the Rhine Community Housing. It is 22 units of affordable housing north of Liberty Street here in Over the Rhine. As you can see, all the area is gated. They have their own personal courtyard. The residents take care of and manage and do the landscaping. They take a lot of pride in that. It's their own personal oasis and it's you know definitely unbelievable to come behind these gates and see and we are very delighted to have 30 volunteers out to see what's going on behind here and get more press and show the great things that we're doing here at cornerstone and the residents as well and you know keep the momentum running here in north of liberty and get more units to have more people to take part in our renter equity system and being here with our communities. So this is our third project here. We have our community room in St. Anthony Village Community Room. St. Anthony Village was our first development that came online in 2002. So the community room is where we have our resident meetings where residents can reserve the room for birthday parties, graduation parties, different things of that nature. There is a full kitchen in here. We also have laundry facilities on site that's in the back of the community room. So we have noticed that over time there's been some wear and tear, so we are sprucing up the community room by giving it a new paint of coat. We're gonna get some artwork uh, donated as well and just get the community room back up and running so that the residents can take pride in and feel empowered and wanna use the community room from here on out. So what we have here, now we're, we just stepped through the gate from St. Anthony Village. We're here at Friars Court, which is the alleyway to Friars Court that leads all the way down here. And then we have units over here. Friars Court came online in 2011. It's 25 units of affordable housing and the standard that we plan on using from here on out. So bamboo floors, high efficiency washer and dryer, stainless steel, all electric residents only pay electric we handle everything else you see there's a small parking lot that residents can use uh, there are about 15 parking spots and then there are two no parking places so parents or people can unload groceries load the kids up so that was a huge plus that we can and hopefully you know in our next stage we can have more lots so people can have more parking lot space but Friars Court is our new thing. We're about, we are at 100% occupied for the first time ever, which is huge. And the residents here, same as St. Anthony Village, are the ones who handle the landscaping by doing their task and earning their equity by attending a monthly meeting. And we're grateful to have such great residents who make the area better and who are concerned about 
transforming the neighborhood. As you can see now behind me is the garden beds that I had mentioned earlier. The garden beds, we have six garden beds that the residents maintain, they handle and they chose the veggies to and herbs and spices to grow in there. There's been plenty of times that they have had me come out and pick um, saying that they would have more than enough. So just some examples of what we have. We have tomatoes, there's collards, there's carrots, spinach, lettuce. So just an eyeball of different things that the residents handle and it was such a huge success that we are putting in three more garden beds so that more people can participate and keep the momentum flowing. So this is another part of Friars Court. As you can see, this is the other half. There's two separate courtyards that are on the sides of the parking lot. The residents handle all the flowers. This is the residents courtyard, the residents patio furniture. When it's winter time, we take it down to our base that's form so it doesn't get cold or get broken or messed up because of the winter weather. And they make it their own. Um, probably nicer where, than where I live. And you know, on my first interview here, I would have never known this place was here. I drove around the block for maybe six or seven times until Rob met me out on the, the corner outside of the office and took me behind the gates and still every day when I come behind these gates I'm still surprised on the hidden oasis that we have here and just bringing that attention to more people is going to be great. So what you see now in front of us is our actual cornerstone office here at the corner of Vine and Green Street as I had mentioned earlier right next to Tucker's restaurant that's one of the landmarks that a lot of people in the area know if they call for orientations or where our office is at. So what we're doing today is we're repainting it. You know, we want to set an example of North of Liberty Street that we stand out also too, that just because the area is not completely developed yet doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen and that we want to change it. It's simple as that. It's the same with our buildings and our communities. You know, just because of what other people are used to doesn't mean it's okay. And we're here to let the neighborhood know that we're ready for them and we're going to change the neighborhood and hopefully everybody, everybody's on board with great affordable housing. So, And the last courtyard we're going to check is actually right behind our office. It is part of Community Views. Community Views is our scattered site community. It came online in 2006. It consists of 12 units. So we actually have two units above our offices. And then the other 10 are scattered around the Rothenberg Academy on East Clifton, Peak Street, and 13th Street. So this courtyard is for the residents that are above us, and also too for us if we have the different things going on, whether it's you know birthday parties, barbecue, different things of that nature. You see a lone parking spot for one of the residents to use as well. Um, the staff members, we just park on the street. It's just easier that way, but that park that parking spot is at their disposal. We have recycling bins back here for the residents to use as well. And it's just great. Um, I always forget it's back here until I let one of the young kids, uh, Brandon, his name, he comes in enthusiastic from school who loves it. And he always asks me to let him in and then me and him chat it up for a bit. And that's the kind of thing we're trying to foster here is that we're all in this together. You know, without community, what do we have? and just being a good source to helping out people and being there for them in their time and being there when things are great as well. So that's what it's all about. Okay, so what we're going over now is kind of our preliminary stages of buildings that we have acquired here North of Liberty Street. And that is our next phases for our development called PG Race. So you won't be seeing them all here now. We're standing here currently on the 1600 block of Pleasant Street. We own about three buildings on, on the 1600 block of Pleasant Street. And then we own about four more on the 1700 block of Pleasant Street. We also own some a couple buildings besides the ones we have developed on Race Street. And then we have a couple more on Vine Street. And these are all we're gonna lump up into one development called PG Race that is in the very beginning stages of what we plan on doing here. And as I had mentioned, they will be all affordable housing. There's always a need for affordable housing and the more we can have and make sure it's nice and safe, 
the better it is for everybody involved. And that's what we're all about here is the inclusion, you know. It's very important to us just no matter what income you have that you deserve to be in a safe space, clean, affordable house that you treat as your own. And that's what we plan on doing here and that's our mission and our main point here at Cornerstone.